To understand value, let's discuss the NBA, the most profitable sports league in the world. The Chicago Bulls of the 90s is perhaps the best team ever played in the league. Ahead of the 1997-98 NBA season, Scottie Pippen was one of the top basketball players, but his salary ranked 122nd in the NBA. Should Pippen feel deprived? In the 90s, Pippen's average annual salary was $2.5 million, while the annual salary of the United States president was $0.2 million. Medical doctors, scientists, teachers and other professionals had of course even lower salaries. Recently, the coronavirus pandemic has put things in perspective. The NBA league was suspended for obvious reasons. If the medical doctors, nurses, scientists and every type of essential worker would not work to address the pandemic crisis, if society would not help slow down the infection through social distancing and personal hygiene, then neither NBA players nor owners would continue making millions. In this perspective, Pippen was overpaid. But so are all NBA players. The profits the owners of the franchises make are also irrational because society takes very little credit. And that is why we have multiple professions whose payments are grossly disproportionate to their contribution to society, especially when compared to the earnings of CEOs, bankers, football players or other celebrities. Professional athletes, for example, perform at such high levels not just because of their raw talent and hard work, but also because of their families, their opponents, the schools they studied at and played for, the courts they trained and played at, those who played and developed the game before them, the fans that co-create the team culture, the ability to train in peace, to overcome an injury, to acquire the necessary skills to communicate, think and negotiate, and the list goes on. The value of societal contribution cannot be measured. It alone has no value for the market. Therefore, it remains invisible, yet still central to the functioning of the NBA, the Premier League, Hollywood, the stock market or any other social system. Pippen was relatively underpaid, allegedly because his situation when he joined the team did not allow him to take many risks, and he ended up with a bad deal. Our collective institutions are in place exactly to tackle and absorb such risks, even unpredictable crises like a pandemic. Yet this contribution is hardly acknowledged in any contract of any professional athlete, CEO or Hollywood star. All value is collectively produced and our institutions need to acknowledge it. <laughs>